Remember Avivo? It's one of the agencies that found housing for people who'd been living in tents along Highway 55. They'd like to keep helping Minnesotans experiencing homelessness, addiction, or both. We have about 100 people right now that are living in our housing and also coming to treatment. But coronavirus is providing new challenges. The number of places that are serving meals have decreased. The number of places that people can be during the day have decreased. Avivo now asks clients who come to its South Minneapolis buildings to practice social distancing, even in groups treatment and to stay home in between sessions. But when home is a shelter, social distancing in a shelter is virtually impossible. The risk of coronavirus is still there. Here's what you can do to help. We have a list of things that may seem obscure. Number one, food, including sandwich and snack supplies to create bag lunches for clients with kids and grocery store gift cards. Number two, non-food needs, things like toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and arts and crafts for kids. And number three, technology. Most people used public settings to get Wi-Fi. They would go into libraries or the government center, uh, shopping malls, and now that has been taken away from them. So either they don't have phones to start with or they do have phones and they have no way to get on the internet. They ask you to donate an old cell phone, not just to help pass the time. And that's a way that we can connect with people through telemedicine. It could save someone's life. In order to continue to provide support remotely to them. Kaya Edwards, CARE 11 News. Yeah, Hennepin County recently moved more than 100 people out of the shelters and into a hotel. But because many others remain, Avivo reached out to the county and offered up its spare beds to a dozen women with higher risk of coronavirus. So you can check out the full list of Avivo's urgent needs online. Just uh, go to care11.com slash sunrise.